so this is rottenswap.org. It looks like a a fork of Uniswap with a rotten meme and zombies. <laughs> okay, rotting ether APY forty three thousand percent. Okay, so this is this you earn rot tokens by staking uh, your LP tokens. Uh, is rot trading? Okay, it's not on here. Let me try coin gecko real quick to see if the rot tokens are trading anywhere. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing. It looks like they aren't trading yet. So it looks like it is pretty early. Okay, see USD unicorn maggots. Yeah, the only looks like you can only stake ether at the moment because that's the only one. Okay, I'm saying okay, are they? Is twenty eight hundred percent link is ninety five nine hundred fifty eight percent eleven hundred percent for ren. So what's the most profitable one? Okay, unicorn is thirty six hundred. Okay, it looks like they have lots of tokens for staking. Very interesting. Okay, now the question that comes to mind is: Has this been audited? Right, because. If we go to, okay, so let's go to this. This is going to their medium page. Okay, yeah, so it's an exact copy of Sushi Swap. Okay, hold on, somebody's calling me. <laughs> I, have to get, I have to wrap up soon, guys. I have to meet somebody for lunch. <laughs> okay, return to Sushi Swap. Has no dev fund, so no possible rug pull, like Chef Nami. The pulls offer different token pairs. Every transfer, 2.5% of the maggot is burnt and transformed into maggot tokens. The maggot tokens are valueless since they are highly inflationary. But the rotten sushi, ROT, is expected to go up in value as the supply is highly deflationary. Of the contracts audited, we are using exact copies of the sushi swap contracts except for the very simple rotten logic and removal of death funds, so the contracts should be safe. But we cannot guarantee that they are use at your own risk okay yeah so pretty much it's a fork right so i mean this is pretty much a flash in the pan i think people would use this just to to earn some right uh, I, i'm not sure what the liquidity is but uh right the question is can people trade this right so let me let me actually yeah where is the exchange because Where's the where's the actual exchange, guys? Because this is this is meant to be a fork. So like, where's the actual DEX? <laughs> okay, all right. So let me let me bring pull up my screen again. So right now, liquidity is very low, forty two thousand dollars. So not the kind of liquidity I like. So I I would probably avoid this. Uh, right, very low liquidity. And volume, trading volume is zero dollars. So I'll probably just wait and see. Then pulling this up on Dex Tools. Dex Tools is not showing any trades. Yeah, so definitely very concerned. I mean, it could take off, but right now, okay, here shows that ETH rot pair has $84,000 in volume. Yeah, this is super early stage, very illiquid. Uh, be careful, right? Uh, if you're gonna gamble with this, with these forks, these meat, these meat two products, be sure, be sure you know what you're doing. Now, don't put everything in, uh, as mentioned. Let me see here. Okay, yeah, somebody's saying Nikita is saying it's tradable on Uniswap. Okay, so let me get this straight. <laughs> It's a fork of Sushi Swap, which is a fork of Uniswap, and it's tradable on the original, <laughs> right? Uh, okay, not not the not the most compelling reason uh, to want to to use them, right? They should have their own decks if there's if it's gonna be something worthwhile, right? So to me, it, it means that it's just short term short term flip, right? So okay, so the token we want to look at is rot so eth rot 
Okay, yeah, it look, looks like this has to be added as a custom token. Yeah, so anyway, I don't, I don't have time for that. But yeah, all right, so well, uh, that's that. I mean, tell me what you guys think about that down in the comments below.